क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स हियर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन डीके कांस्टेंट प्रॉब्लम नंबर 14 सो व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन एंड व्हाट इज द रिक्वायर्ड थिंग दैट इज वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट लेट अस फाइंड आउट इन दिस टॉपिक सो फ्रेंड्स हियर वी हैव द क्वेश्चन दैट इज द हाफ लाइफ फॉर द गैलियम 67 इज 78 आर हाउ लॉन्ग इट विल टेक टू डीके 12% ऑफ द सैंपल ऑफ द गैलियम so here basically the data which has been given is for half life and that is t half which is 78 hours so let us write down this data which has been given as t half is equals to 78 hours and what else has been given is how long it will take to decay how long it will take that means we are been asked time if 12% of the sample has been decayed that means we could say that is the initial amount of the sample it would be 100% so therefore we could say that is the n not is equals to 100 but what happens if 12% of it decays if 12% of the sample it decays that means the rest of the amount it is remained as undecayed so therefore we could say that is the n is nothing but 100 minus 12% which is found to be 88 so here basically we have more data if we have gone through this question very clearly and here basically we have not only t half but we also have n not as well as the value of n and we have to calculate the time so in that case the thing that we can do is we can easily estimate the value of the lambda that is dk constant and then with the help of the dk constant we could easily estimate what is the time that is required to get a change from 100% of the sample to 88% of the sample so now let us find out with the help of the formula so we have the formula t half is equals to 0.693 divided by dk constant that is lambda so therefore here we have to find out the lambda that is the dk constant so therefore lambda is equals to 0.693 divided by t half that is the half life period so here let me substitute the values here that is 0.693 divided by T half in this case the T half which has been provided to us is 78 hours. So here I'm substituting the value of T half and let's see what is the answer we could get. But the answer that we could get it will have a unit of R inverse because here the time or the duration in which the change occurs is in hours. So therefore we could get it in R inverse. So let's see what is the value of the lambda that we could get. So we have got the value. 8.88 into 10 raised to minus 3 r inverse. This is what we have got. If we have got to know about the value for the t half, that is half life period, and this is the value. And based on this, we can easily calculate what is the time required. That is basically very much useful to convert that is 100 percent amount of the radioisotope to 88 percent. So let's see what is the time that has been required. And the formula is that is the decay constant is equals to 2.303 divided by t log to the base 10 of n not divided by n. So here we have all the values except time. So therefore we have to find out the time. So this is 2.303 divided by lambda, and in this case the lambda has a value of 8.88 into 10 raised to minus 3. log to the base 10 of n0 and in this case the value of n0 is found to be 100 divided by 88 so let us calculate all this thing and let's see what is the value of the time we could get in r so we have got the value for the time as 14.398 r So within this time, the change will occur from 100% to 88% after the 12% of the substance is being decayed. So that's it. This is how basically we can calculate this numerical. And that's it. Thank you, friends, for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly, and I hope I'll see you next time. Till then, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.